I grew up on a farm and you know the idea of me pursuing a career in art was just very alien to a lot of my family, a lot of my friends. I've been producing works now as a professional artist for close to 20 years and this newfound motivation in terms of creating these pieces and kind of reinventing myself as an artist has given me a kind of a, a clean slate to begin creatively. They don't overtly hit the viewer uh, aggressively. Uh, they're they're intimate. They're you know they're they're aesthetic to the audience in terms of of them being intrigued by what these images are. And as they read the titles, the they begin usually by by googling those locations, those events, and very quickly realize that that again these are these are from war torn countries. Um, you know. Conflicts that are, uh, you know, that are creating uh, victims and refugees, and how that affects us as a society. The images are hard to shake off, and so it's somewhat cathartic to kind of step away from these very graphic, overt images of violence and address these artworks from a very intimate abstract way. I, I describe them as whispers. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is uh, I feel very spoiled, very blessed to live uh, in, this, in this world that we live in, and yet the majority of the world are helpless to what's being done to them. And, and so if, if in some small way one of these images can touch someone to look further beyond this, um, you know, spoiled world that we live in and, and see what's happening at the farthest reaches. Um, if it can push someone to that, that's, that's really what they're meant for.